Hey guys, it's Jay. Oh my god. Right now, it is 10 o'clock at night. And I was just, I was just like casually freaking just scrolling through YouTube, watching random videos, and I was like, and then I saw this gay marriage video, like about gay marriage being legalized, and I was like, why is it, has it taken it so long for me to actually make a video about how I see this shit? Because when gay marriage got legalized, honestly, I did not even know. It's like I knew, but I wasn't really aware until I hung up with my friend, a group of friends, a couple of days after. And then my friend told me, like, oh, yeah, gay marriage is legalized. Like, you didn't know? And I'm like, yeah, I kind of did, but I really didn't pay that much attention to it. And honestly... I should have slapped myself because that shit, gay marriage be getting legalized is like one of the biggest fucking things. It's like, it's, that's a great thing to happen. Because, honestly, me, personally, I don't know what I am. I honestly, I feel like, no. I'm not saying I'm gay, I'm not saying I'm bi, I'm not saying I'm anything. I'm saying that I am not defined. I, I honestly am not defined at all. It's like, but at least if I want to marry a man, I can marry a man. If I love someone and I want to be with that person, I can actually be with that person in all 50 states. And I was actually thinking about it, and I was like, there are some states probably in the South that are still like, it's legalized here, but we're not going to accept it. And we'll probably be like protesting outside the like i saw the like churches and shit and they're like i'm not still i'm not gonna stand for this even though it's legalized i'm still not taking it and i'm like but it's legalized so do shit if you want to do shit but your ass gonna get fucking arrested no more hate crimes i'm tired of the hate crimes like honestly like you're getting mad at people for living their lives and being true to who they are like it's not your place to say who someone is and who they can be because honestly throughout my life I've been torn down by a whole bunch of people I've had kids bully me about be about who I am I've had I've sorry to say this but I've had actually my dad come to me and actually basically disown me because I'm because there's a there's a slight possibility that I might like guys honestly now I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, if I like a guy, I like a guy. If I like a girl, I like a girl. If I want to walk outside in a fucking skirt, I wanna, I'm going to do it. Because I'm the type of person who, I'm gender fluid. I don't want to be, like, defined, but I don't want to be stuck in one gender. If I want to if I wanna wear girls' clothes, I'm going to wear girls' clothes. But it's not going to be girls' clothes. They're going to be clothes for me. And I know there are a whole bunch of people out there, too, who are constantly being told to either to be put in one label. And you can't tell people what label they can be put in. If they, if they don't want, if they're undefined, they're undefined. You can't make them, you can't make them be, say that they, oh, they're gay, or they're straight, or they're bi. You can't do that to a person. You can't put a person in the label. And that's why I, like, that's why I actually want to be undefined. Because I don't want people... I've been put in... I've been labeled all my life. And with every label, I've always had to... I've always been... Okay. With every label that people have put on me, I've always actually taken that label and actually made the label my own. I've actually told people I'm straight for, like, most of my life. Then I started telling people I was gay. Then I'm like, I don't know what I am. It's like... I like now, but it's like now I'm who I am. If I want to, if I want to wear girls clothes or boys clothes, they're not going to be, there's not going to be a gender at the beginning of cl the clothes that I'm going to wear. It's going to be clothes for me. They're Jay Vaughn's clothes or Jay's clothes. They're going to be my clothes. They're not going to be, they're not going to, I'm not going to define who I am. Like I'm going to define who I am. But I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm wearing girls' clothes. I'm wearing clothes. I'm wearing my clothes, the clothes that make me feel comfortable about who I am. And you should have not, and no one should have anything to say about that. Honestly. But overall, on gay marriage, I'm so happy that people are finally, that 
love is not only seen between a man and a woman anymore, but love is seen between a man and a man, a woman and a woman, a trans a transgender man and a woman. It's like everyone okay everyone love is life okay love we love we should all like just love each other and accept each other you don't have to actually agree with people's morals but at least don't put them down for it try to understand don't don't just just because you don't understand something just hate it you can't do that you have to actually like you have to actually try to understand before you do something like that well I'm sorry about this little rant, but I really wanted to get this out because <sighs> this is like one of the biggest topics and I've had so much to say about it. I've never been able to actually formulate the words and oh my gosh, I'm just so happy that gay marriage is finally legal and gay marriage is not gay marriage. Gay marriage should be called marriage. If a man and a man want to get married, it's marriage. Woman, woman, want to get married? It's marriage, not gay marriage. <sighs> well, thanks guys for listening, and I love you all. Bye. Oh, sorry for that. That was so unofficial. Bye, you guys.